Hi there, I'm Theodore Leaf, and I have some great tips on how you can live big in under 1,000 square feet. Today, I'm talking all about kitchens. I've got lots of little details, and when they all add up, it will make your small kitchen really amazing. One thing that's really important in this space is an island. I had no counter space and actually zero drawers, so I really needed something that gave me both. I found this piece online. It was very affordable and easy to put together. It gave me two drawers and more counter space. But the thing that it was really lacking was a little extra style and design. So I found this awesome butcher block that was the same length and it just came a bit wider. So it actually gave me more space. It was a great solution to really customize this piece and just make this kitchen look a lot better. Something else this kitchen needed desperately was lighting. So I found this kit and it was really easy to do myself. I added under the counter lighting. It was really affordable and all I had to do was tape the little wires up, screw them in and I was good to go. It is night and day how much brighter it is in this kitchen with under the counter lighting. This utility board is a lifesaver for space. I've seen this done so many times where it just looks like a cluttery disaster. So a great way to do this is to keep everything in the same color. It's really, really important. You also wanna have some negative space in here so that it's just not a clutter bomb and just looks insane. But by keeping everything white, cream, silver, it can really work and not look completely chaotic. It's so great for weird things like my colander, just things that would take up so much space inside of cabinets and things. Put them out. If you buy them in the same color, you can totally put them out. Actually, what we're standing in front of is a door. This frying pan, it's hiding the peephole. Yes, this really is a door. I really like this thing. It has just worked out so well. I know what I have, I can see it, it's easy to get to, and people compliment it all the time. Spices can take up a lot of room, so I use this back of the door spice rack, which is really easy to install, and I actually changed all of my spices into these very specific jars because I can stack them twice, and I just labeled them with a label maker so I can always find what I'm looking for. Yes, they are alphabetized. A lot of people have a hard time organizing under the sink. I've totally cracked the code. So under here, I've got my back of the door, which is awesome. I got this online for like $5. And this holds all my plastic wrap and foil and all that good stuff. Again, since I don't have many drawers or any drawers that came with the kitchen, this is perfect. And then I just did this rack that stands up all my baking sheets and things like that. And if you look, the way that I planned it, I just worked right around that pipe and everything worked out just fine, no problem. I've got a little cleaning supply area. Great way just to store your towels. Again, if your kitchen doesn't come with drawers, you can put them in places you never thought. So underneath the kitchen counter, why not? I've got my gloves, sponges, all this kind of stuff is just tucked in here, really organized, I can always find it. I love how organized this is. And honestly, this has been this organized for like a year and a half. So this system totally works. Something else this kitchen was missing is a pantry. So I decided to commandeer some space from the coat closet and create my own pantry. I used my over the door baskets, which you know I'm a huge fan of. These are so easy to put on and they just look so clean, I love it. I also took everything out of its original packaging. It just used to be messy and different bags and little twisty ties and all that stuff. Get rid of all that. These are quart containers. They use them in restaurants all the time. I just used my labeler and labeled everything. I open this door and it is so calm. I know exactly what I have. I can get some rice and grab some beans. I can make a meal really fast because I know what is in here. I still have coats. Yes, there's still coats in the coat closet. They're just tucked away right here in the corner. And I've separated it with the shoe organizer that I use for all of my cloth napkins. My grandmother actually gave me this tip and it is awesome. And I love this because I can separate them all by color. I can see exactly what's here. And I just find that I use the cloth napkins a lot more because they're easy to get to. And then next to them, I have all of my tablecloths separated by color. Those have different hangers, just so visually I can tell. This is coats, this is tablecloth, just looks nice and clean. And I can see them, they're pressed well, it's just easy to get to. And right up here, I've got my baskets. I have a couple kitchen baskets, some cleaning baskets. That way I can just pull it down whenever I need something, but it's all just visually separated. I have extra wine glasses for parties. 
my drill is in here, my toolbox is in here. I'm telling you what, I've packed it all in here, my Swiss army knife of a closet. But when you look at it, it doesn't look like chaos because I have a plan. It's really organized and it's well thought out so I can find exactly what I need. See, you can pack a lot into a small kitchen. The island, the spice rack, if you don't have drawers like I don't, there's so many fun tips that can really help you take it to the next level. Living in under 1,000 square feet does not need to be limited. You just have to be smart about your design and really smart about your buying choices. Keep it monochromatic, keep it simple, keep it clean and organized, and you're gonna get so much more out of your tiny kitchen. Trust me, I've lived in under 1,000 square feet my entire life. I've got this down.